so I play a detective, uh, homicide detective, is that what this is? Oh, there's a bunch of eyeballs everywhere. You can kick enemies by pressing down space. Oh my god. <laughs> I just fucking kicked him in the next week. Can I not just arrest him? Is there no arrest button? Uh, I don't mind the models. The character models are dated, but they're fine. This game obviously wasn't super popular. But I don't totally agree with a cop being on an investigation, and then this is supposedly a drugged up lunatic. But he was on the ground crying or whimpering or fucking whatever, and then I just kick him to death. I kind of think that's a little shitty. If the entire game is just stalking through dilapidated, ruined, uh, scary fucking haunted houses, like something out of uh, fucking people under the stairs or some shit, and there's fucking people in the walls and, and above you and below you and they can pop out at any moment, then this game might could fucking super nail a scary... Whoa, okay, okay, come on. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, man, I fucking <laughs> didn't time that right. Oh, man, he fucking popped me in the face. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that was brutal. Uh, and yeah, I was not ready for that. That took half my health away. I can't wait to try out Condemned Criminal Origins. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm Protodead and today we're going to be trying out Condemned Criminal Origins. Now this is a first person shooter, uh, criminal, horror, psychological, scary sort of game. Uh, it's it's touted as having some really, really complex a AI, and uh, I've tried it before. Uh, I didn't get very far. I just couldn't get into it at the time. It wasn't it wasn't something that I was searching for. But uh... oh, it's loud. Okay. Okay, so, mm -hmm. difficulty normal, hence, crosshairs, subtitles, controls, display sound, Jesus fucking Christ. <coughs> that shit was loud as fuck. Okay. That sounds fine. <laughs> I wonder if I can change the display. Holy shit. Detecting video memory. Resolution. What? By 32? Well, we'll try that one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this is better. Yeah, I didn't even, like, adjusted my mouse speed, cursor speed, the correct way. That's fucking fantabulous. That knife is pretty slick right there. That's stacked leather. A uh, li lot like a K-Bar. Dude, I like knives like that. Um, has the little dish out. Cut out right there for a little bit of lightweight action. People call it a blood groove. I fucking like that knife. It's a nice knife. I've got one just like that, as a matter of fact. I do appreciate that you have two options. So, if, like, if you don't like the default, which is R for ammo check, I like equals because I've got it on my mouse, uh, it'll just add it as a secondary binding instead of replacing the original one. That way you can have two bindings for the same thing if, if you know, if you're into that sort of thing I am. Ram is one, slam is two, snap is three, punch is four. What the fuck does that mean? All right, let's give this a shot. Unexplained surge in crime rate, subway uh, cities, crime rates increase, record-breaking levels of most significant increase in assaults with deadly intent, which is up 28%. Okay, uh, that's a bird ripped open. Oh, 
like I like the visuals so far. It's, it's very uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre-y. Monolith Productions. Condemned Criminal Origins. <laughs> Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Bodies this way. He looks like a fatter Jack Carver. I've got a vial of blood. I'm too old for this. Okay. I got a crouch to get under the tape. Well, which one's the crouch button? Oh no, you have to action. Come on, let's go. Bodies rotten as we speak. Okay. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Damn city's crawling with sick killers. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn my DPS down a little bit. That's a little bit too too uh, mouse sensitivity. God, why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? <laughs> it's not so damn dark. Can I pull out my flashlight? Jeez. Really shot the bastard. Oh. <sighs> Come on. Rat. This place is creeping me out. <clears throat> A little bit of physics action going on there. I wish I could pull my flashlight out. Stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. Okay. Finally, I can turn my flashlight on. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent? A likely story. So, I play a detective? Uh, homicide detective? Is that what this is? Oh, there's a bunch of eyeballs everywhere. Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. Oh, okay. Investigate. Press ready tool to use detection tool. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. Okay. Got it. Looks like, uh... Looks like E.T.'s fucking strangled the fuck out of this bitch. Okay. And, and now what? Oh, I pressed E again and then I brought up a little camera. Use the mouse aim tool. I didn't get to read it! Use forward, backward to zoom, adjust until crop lines and display. Okay, so W, A, S, and D. Once I'm in this mode, to uh, fiddle fuck the doohickey joystick. Okay. Use the mouse to aim, adjust the position, so I went in too far. I, I, okay, so now we're green. 
Press fire. Clickety clack. Oh, so he's an assassin. He's part of the Brotherhood. Is he French kissing a severed head? Okay. Press ready tool. Laser works better in the dark. I gotta turn the volume up real quick because uh, apparently the opening fucking dun da da dum music shit. Okay, so that's all of a sudden too loud. Like Jesus, the amount, the sensitivity of the fucking volume. Okay, it blows bright green. I found it. Now what? Press the ready tool. So I gotta press the ready tool again. Use the mouse to aim. So if I've got this tool up, this camera is now different. Oh, this is a this is a camera. The last thing was not a camera. Okay, so uh-huh. Arrows are pointing inward. And now I what? Do the clickety clack. Use forward, backward to focus. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and then press fire. Processing image. <clears throat> That's it. The same mark. Exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. <laughs> Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. That's what I would do. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. The faces on the baby mannequins are all removed. Uh oh. Okay. So I guess I'm supposed to follow this guy. This is this is what I imagine. He's about to get attacked. Dang it! I can smell the cigarette smoke. Okay. And He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspect still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA, 10 minutes. Mm. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Yeah. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. We're changing plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. Oh, Becca. All clear, Agent. <laughs> Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful. With your dead eyes. Emotionless. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got... Agent Thomas, Officer Becker. I don't know if they're on a new drug or... Not. Thomas Dickinson, there's one coming your way. Addict amped up on something. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now i got like a Far Cry 2 modeled fucking handgun. This is like... Okay. Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Fuck you! 
Okay. Um, I hear somebody else. It's too bad. I mean, that guy could have lived a little longer. Uh, I'm not really big on police brutality. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, we could have ended this a little bit more peacefully, but, uh, you know, hey. So I guess I'm on my own for a little while. I'm going to reload. I got seven bullets left. Oh, I like how it's like, it shows you like the clip of bullets and it's got like the two empty shells indicating that I fired two shots and I've only got one magazine, so I've only got seven bullets left. Cool. Now apparently my dude really doesn't mind reloading over or checking his bullets over and over again. I don't, I don't particularly like how the uh, flashlight moves independent of my mouse. It like moves ahead of my mouse. I mean, maybe that's a good thing, but uh, I don't know. It's just fucking kind of annoying. You can kick enemies by pressing down space. Oh my god. <laughs> I just fucking kicked him in the next week. Oh, man. Okay, so what was the point of that? This guy was down. Can I not just arrest him? Is there no arrest button? Like, does the open door with what? The F key, I'm guessing. Okay, cool. Use, use the... Okay, so I just kick with the space. There is no jump in this game. <laughs> I can't use the health kit, I'm guessing, because I don't have any health gone. Okay, so um, immediately, I, I understand that this game's probably old. Maybe it's 2007, maybe 2009, we'll have to take a look, I'm not sure. I don't know everything there is to know about this game before I'm playing it, but I like the guy's cut up face, I'm digging that. Uh, I don't mind the models, the character models are dated, but they're fine. This game I'm, obviously wasn't super popular. But I don't totally agree with a cop being on an investigation, and then this is supposedly a drugged up lunatic, but he was on the ground crying or whimpering or fucking whatever, and then I just kick him to death. I kind of think that's a little shitty. So what's up with these blood spots, though? Is that all from this one guy that I shot? Uh, supposedly, you know, probably in, like, inhumanely shot to death. He probably was just looking for a hug. <sighs> oh, don't forget to edit that snort out. Okay, so there's no sprint in this game. Press R to check ammo. Okay. Done it. You are limited to ammo found in weapons. Use wisely. Got it. You know what would be a lot cooler is if, like... You either can be holding up the flashlight and the gun, and you like both your arms are up at the same time. And if you like have a two-handed weapon, then you gotta like sacrifice the, holding the flashlight, and you're kind of in the dark. Uh, so am I looking for another person? Is that what I'm doing? Because the original Doom Three did it that way, and it was fucking wicked good. A lot of people hated it, but I thought it was fucking great. You could either have the flashlight up in the dark, or you could have a gun up. You couldn't have both at the same time. And of course, every time you fired a gun, it'd flash, and, and it would light up the room. And that would be helpful for a moment, but it was scary as fuck, and it was brilliant. But uh, the new, if you bought Doom 3 now uh, on, on Steam, I'm pretty sure the package edition to get like all the... The Doom 1, Doom 2, and Doom 3 all together. Ooh. All together in the package, they actually adjust the lighting and make the flashlight like this guy's flashlight, where it's just a permanent thing emitting. Uh, which is, I think, is fucking terrible. It's a terrible mechanic. I think your dude should be physically having to hold a flashlight. Stop! Can I not say something? Look, he's hiding behind that thing. So is this early morning coming up? Is this... Day-night cycles? Is there a day-night cycle in this game?
Okay. Uh, can I not pick that up? I've got six bullets left, guys. Come on, man. Give me a melee weapon or something. You shift to sprint. Now I can sprint? Oh, I got a sprint bar now they've awarded me. I have graduated through the tutorial. I have elevated with better drugs and updated. Okay. So each one of these enemies so far is a copycat of the next. They're exactly 100% uh, a duplication. It'd be a lot cooler if in the opening scenes of this game they, they lended some variety. Uh, where each one of the models was a little different. That would have been cool. Uh, and they couldn't have... They apparently couldn't have been bothered to do that. Whoa. Okay, so this guy's a smoker. And this is the killer, I'm guessing. How am, how am I seeing this vision? Is it because my cop dude is a psychic? Oh. No, it's because he's just, like, figuring it out. Whoa, whoa, shit. What happened? There's somebody behind me. And who's this dude? That's not the killer, is it? Die. <sighs> okay, so that's kind of creepy. He took my gun. Suspect has your gun. Track him down. I should have shot the other guy that I saw first. Fuck. So that's the suspect. Is that the killer? Suspect? Because, I mean, you can have a lot of suspects. I don't want to backtrack. You need a weapon. Grab a pipe or a 2x4 off the wall. Oh. Oh! Grab a small pipe. Yeah, there's... <laughs> like this, this infrastructure isn't in the building for any particular <sighs> reason. Oh, my God. Look at that fucking power trail. Okay, so you can't just hold down the block. you got a time. It's a timed thing, so... Uh, if they attack and you stun them, boom, like with the block, it'll knock them off balance for a moment. Okay, I get this. I've seen this mechanic in other games before. Move object. Oh, okay. <gasps> I have moved the object. That is a big red thing. That is a dude, man. I guess I can't get over there. Oh. Okay. The, the music does a good job, I think, of, of amping up the critical fucking-ness of the situation. If the entire game is just stalking through dilapidated, ruined, uh, scary fucking haunted houses like something out of uh, fucking people under the stairs or some shit, and there's fucking people in the walls and, and above you and below you and they can pop out at any moment, then this game might could fucking super nail a scary... Whoa, okay, okay, come on. Oh, there's two of them. <sighs> Oh man, I fucking <laughs> didn't time that right. Oh man, he fucking popped me in the face. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that was brutal. Uh, and yeah, I was not ready for that. That took half my health away. Um, and it looks like my my pole, it, it looked like it shrank when I was beating him. Uh, 
yeah, I'll switch to that. I'll let's see how that works out for us. But I'm going to go back here and get this health because, you know, he whacked me in my face a few times. So far, I'm not super impressed with the AI. Okay. So I got another health kit there. Can't forget that. Um, from what I remember, I, I long time ago, I listened to a couple of reviews about this game, and I knew I wanted to pick it up and try it one day, and that's the reason why I bought it. Uh, but the, the thing that, like, the game, the visuals is not stellar. Um, you know, the gameplay is not stark. The fucking sound effects isn't, like, super fucking duper. The thing that set this game apart was the AI, is what everybody said. And right now I'm not seeing it yet. What is with the fucking supernatural creepy shit? Does it need to be like that? A little bit of fear. Yeah, it seems to have a little bit of Alma Wade shit going on. Like the dude disappeared just now. <laughs> Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. So is is my uh, is my detective here kind of like a crazy? Is he a little bit insane himself? Oh, rats! Shoo! Break glass to access health kit. I will do it later. Thank you. Stairs leading upwards, onwards and upwards. I'm guessing uh, doors that have shit piled in front of them means basically you can't access them. Good to know. <coughs> uh, I thought this was a hallway that went somewhere. Okay, didn't I come from that door? It locked behind me. Okay, okay, let us, that's a piece of rebar, okay, fire axe required to bust through the dough, grab a small pipe, negative speed, negative block, but it's got longer reach and longer damage, that's how I interpret that, I could be uh, El Rongo, what's in there, a TV, so I need a fire axe so I can look at the TV. Can't open the dough. Thomas, Thomas, answer me. What's happened? We heard an explosion. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. It's just a fuse box shorted. I seem to be trapped over here, and I believe the suspect has my gun. What? How the hell did that happen? <sighs> here, take this fire axe and chop your way out. to get you past barriers. You can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon. They do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, you'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. Okay. I thought mouse button... Oh, no, mouse button 2 is middle mouse button. Okay, so I'm going to backtrack back to this door. And I am going to whack it open. Okay, so I left click to bust down that door. Unlock achievement. You have unlocked bronze detective badge achievement by cutting open a door and turning off a TV. Huh. Um, I failed to see the logic in that, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. Use the axe to chop through the door. Okay, so do the weapons have durability? Or do they just have different stats. 
and then occasionally maybe you can be disarmed, I'm guessing, and, and, and drop something and have to run away and find something else. Oh, okay, so the bad guys can throw stuff at me, but I can't throw stuff? Whoa. Okay. Oh, shit. Did I see a tooth fall out of him? One. Ram. Okay, so that was a headbutt. And they're calling that a ram. I wonder if this is an American game. Uh, like, <laughs> that was like a finishing move, and I like it. But, why did we call it a ram just now, instead of headbutt? Or, I'm gonna forehead slam your face. I'm gonna play elbow facey with you. Oh wow, you can rip 2x4s out of the wall? So you gotta like, really look... Okay, so yeah, we ripped a pipe off the wall and I commentated. I commented that, uh... Oh, here's another one. Uh, that you can, you know, fuck up the infrastructure or whatever. Like, what if that's a gas line and now you're spewing fucking natural gas into the area? Uh, or whatever, but uh, yeah, you can just... Yeah, I just gotta be on the lookout, man. It's a video game. And there's weapons in the walls. So this last perp that I saw went this away, and there's no telling where he's at. Oh, he just, he did a little snaky slithery on me. Weapon stat comparisons are relative to your current weapon. Got it. So if I look at this one, this one's faster, and it blocks better or faster, but it's got less reach and less damage. I don't know, kind of like the axe. I can bust through fucking doors like that and shit. Oh, go ahead and fucking top off on health. I'm leaving health kits, like, way far behind. These guys don't have flashlights, so they can see. Knowing how to block is vital, okay? Like if I was a human, the flashlight would be would be an aid to me hiding from the guy with the flashlight, because I would know where the guy's pointing his flashlight and thus have a better idea where he's at. Um, although I don't have control of what I can see if I'm in the dark, but that's the problem with flashlights, yo. That's the reason why I don't use flashlights when I play Tarkov. Come on, bitch! Oh, damn. That can happen? Oh, shit! Okay, so the enemies can kick open doors. Oh, my God. Come on, dude. Oh, shit, I wasn't ready for that. Oh, fuck. He blocked me. Wow. He's got a helmet on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I wonder if the helmet, like, gave him some more life. But yeah, I was not ready for that. I mean, I thought I was ready, but I was not ready. I can see you. I wish there was something I could do about it. But that was cool. He ripped the pipe off the wall and the light went out. Oh, I fucking blocked it, though. I thought I was, like, spot on with the block. And apparently I wasn't. Grab a large pipe. Nope. I like my axe. Pink Panther insulation. Okay, so I went the wrong way. Gotta go this way. Oh, man, this is a lot of fucking bad guys. A lot of vagrants and drug addicts up in here. What is this? Metal pieces? Collect birds and metal pieces to unlock achievements. Okay. 
That's great, I guess. So when I fight, does my stamina go down too? <coughs> Bitch must die, it says. <coughs> A bunch of eyes. Why is the killer obsessed with eyes? Oh my god. Oh shit. Holy shit. I, f I timed every one of those wrong. He fucking faked me out with like a movement or something or I faked myself out. Fuck. So I left some health behind. I can't get back to it. Shit. Shitty balls. Dude, the sound effects are really getting in my head. Man, I fucking blocked it. Okay, so the next... Oh! Okay. Man, the next guy I'm tasing. That's all there is to it. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same of righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange turns. Please, drop the weapon now. God damn. Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visit him again. Whoa. Okay. Yay. I succeeded in the mission. <laughs> uh, zero is six birds found. One of three metal pieces found. I have achieved two awards. Uh, favorite weapon, small pipe. I don't think that was my favorite weapon. Successful hits, 48%. Enemies killed. Okay. Great, so it gives me some stats. Now what? A strange bird deaths throughout the city. Bodies of dead birds now litter the city streets and public parks. Hard hit areas have reportedly literally thousands. Hard hit areas have reported literally thousands of bodies, while other areas of the city have seen very few birds at all. Okay, so yeah, that's a a fucking bird ripped open there. Uh, superimposed on my file because it the wings faded out. That's not an actual bird in the file. Okay. <coughs> Press any key to continue. Fuck shit. Balls. Piss ass. That was crazy. Hello, Ethan. Who are you? What is going on? Calm yourself. My name is Malcolm Van Horn. I was a great friend of your father's. <laughs> yes, I remember you. A long time ago, but why are you here now? Last night. 
Well, I was nearby. An unfortunate scene. You did your best, but it could not be helped. The detectives? They're dead. Shot with your weapon. And you will be blamed for their deaths. Ridiculous. I'll just tell them- What? Tell them the truth? They have already decided the truth. This is insane. I can't just give up the Bureau. It's already been taken from you. Now join me and help yourself. Open up, it's the police. Damn. Take your bag and head across to the metro station. I will meet you later. Thank you, Thomas. You know you're in there. Open up now. Ethan, you must trust me. I am here to help. Now go! <coughs> oh, okay. Now I got a shovel. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, so now I'm a cop on the run. Just as simple as that. Like, cops can't be trusted. Use the shovel. Okay. And now I proceed into the seedy underworld of the criminal element. And the cops are after me now, I'm guessing. And I'll have to beat up on cops. Kill them. Because I'm an innocent man, I must prove my innocence by killing cops. I'm sure that's where this is going to go. I like the, the physics. It's like some Half-Life 2 kicking shit around a little bit. Okay. So this is a scary sort of game. I mean, it kind of makes me jump a little bit. And there's a pipe. I think I'll, I'll stick with the shovel for right now. So my dude is a psychic or something? I mean, is that what the fuck is going on? Collection tool, press ready tool. Why? Is there a dead body here? Okay. Uh, whoa. What, what, what? Collection tool. No. What the fuck is going on around here? Crowbar required. <laughs> Um, I pressed E uh, just now for my collection tool. There we go. Use the white arrows. What am I doing? On what? Oh, in the trash can, I'm guessing. Okay, got the white arrows. White arrows guided me to the evidence. There we go. Receiving image data. You're a lucky man, Thomas. I'm still here. Thank God. I thought they would have suspended my lab access. They still might. It hasn't occurred to them yet. I didn't kill those guys. I know, Thomas. Well, I'm not certain what I do or don't know, but I'm pretty sure I still trust you. And that goes a long way. A long way. Understood. So, what about the photos? Well, no standing on ceremony then. Huh. It's a picture of you, Thomas. In your apartment. I remember that hideous sofa from last year's Christmas party. It had to have been taken from across the alley. From within the metro station? It appears so. I'm also seeing smudges across the face of the photo. Locate a good sample and transmit it to me. Find a good source of the liquid. A good source of the liquid? Uh. What?
There we go. It glows green. And now I gotta press E again. What the fuck? <laughs> uh. Okay. These photos were processed here, somewhere within the station. That would be my guess. Yeah, that's definitely some 19 fucking 80s and 90s technology. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so this is this is condemned criminal origins. Uh, oh my God, Jesus fucking Christ! There's the crowbar I need to get to the next section. What the fuck, man? I was not ready for that shit. Uh. <laughs> so I think the game ho still holds up, however fucking old it is. I think the game still holds up. Uh, it's it's pretty neat, and I think I'll be playing this offline a little bit more and getting uh, a little bit more accustomed to it. But uh, yeah, the silliness of fucking pulling out all these goddamn gadgets from this guy's jacket is just fucking is it's just weird. It's a video game, though. Hey, it's a video game. What are you gonna do? Uh, yeah, man. So this condemned criminal origins. Uh, I uh, I've enjoyed my time with it so far. Uh, appreciate you sticking with me. I'm proto dead. Um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Dislike it if you I guess or uh, tell me if you liked the game and my presentation here or, or not. Leave a comment down below, letting me know any things that I may have missed in the game or things I don't understand or maybe some shit I complained about that I'm wrong about. If you know the game better than I do, let me know. Um, share my video if you can. It helps me grow the channel. Subscribe for future content. I am going to read the advertisements of the developers on Steam, and I'm going to make a quick assessment with a trailer running in the background of the game uh, as I read the words of the developer and try to make a decision to help you make a decision whether you think this game is worth your money or not. So, without further ado... As you guys know, a Let's Try Out video is a part Let's Play. There's going to be some commentary in here, a part tutorial you learn as I learn as I play the game, and part first impressions, because a lot of these games I've never played before. And uh, you get to go through, step through all the problems that I step through, and, and hopefully we come out the other side learning a little bit. And kind of a part review, because I try to rehash a little bit of my opinions at the end of the piece. After we read the words of the developer, we can try to make a decision whether they're shoveling us a load of bullshit or if they're spot on honest and it seems to make a lot of sense with what they're trying to, uh, the product that they're trying to produce. And if you want to spend your hard earned money on it, because at the end of the day, I'm trying to give you an honest presentation of the first 30 minutes or so of a video game really is. That way we can make a sound judgment on it. So let's read the words of the developer. Condemned criminal origins. What twists of the mind of an ordinary human? Jesus. What twists the mind of an ordinary human into a serial killer? Um, so far, the reviews, all the reviews are very positive. 1,300 of them on Steam since its release in 2006, developed by Monolith and published by Sega. This is a horror action, first person atmospheric, uh, uh, melee detective sort of game. And it's currently setting at $15 on Steam. Uh, this may be well worth $15 for people that are really, really into this sort of game, uh, but I caught it on sale. I recommend that you can catch it on sale, put it on your wish list. Um, some of the other things that it says here is, uh, Assigned to the Serial Crimes Unit, Agent Ethan Thomas must answer this question and bring the worst of society to justice. His solve rate is the best in the Bureau, perhaps too good. What are they trying to say there? While investigating the growing list of serial killers, Agent Thomas concludes that something is twisting the bodies of the souls to those that society has left behind. Um, the homeless, addicted, and deranged are rising from the city's underbelly and com committing mindless acts of violence. Could there be an unseen connection between the increasing brutality of the latest serial killings and the increasing crime rate? This question is pushed to the forefront after Agent Thomas is framed for the murder of two police officers. Now he must solve the murders and stop the killings and exonerate himself from the crimes of which he is accused. As FBI agent Ethan Thomas, you rely on sharp instincts, sophisticated forensic tools to investigate crime scenes, collect evidence, and find clues that will lead you to the killers. 
with danger lurking in every shadow. You need whatever weapons you can find to stay alive. If you run out of bullets, you'll have to fight with a fire axe, shovel, pipe, 2x4, or whatever you can pry from the environment around you. You'll need to make sure that nothing stops you as you try to uncover who or what is behind the grisly killings plaguing the city. Okay, so this has got a 78 score on Metacritic, and this is a first player only game. This is a single player game. Uh, I agree with everything that they that they say here. I don't think I don't think they're feeding us a line of bullshit. I think uh, the game is what it is. Uh, I think the game is it's a hard melee combat horror uh, investigation, and I think it's probably uh, worth worth a playthrough at least once. I think it's probably worth it. Uh, I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna see if I can if I can stick with it long enough to finish the game. We'll see. Uh, it's definitely interesting. It's scary. It made me jump a few times. Um, I'm Proto Dead. I appreciate you sticking around. Don't forget to do all the things. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, tell me what you think about the video game here, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. And since you're here, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Sound off in the comments below about any other opinions that you might have. I appreciate you stopping by. Subscribe for future content. Share my video with a friend if you can. It helps me out a whole lot. This is Proto Dead saying I'll see you in the future.